Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a kind of overdue video. I'm ranking my March eyeshadow palettes. So usually I do two ranking videos per month and I did a terrible job of keeping track of the palettes I tried this month. So we're just gonna do one video and simplify the whole situation, but I'm hoping to do better in April because you guys love ranking videos, so it's been really fun for me to make them. I will leave my ranking videos playlist at the end so you guys can check some of those out because I just started doing this series, so let me know your thoughts on it down in my description box. Without further blabbering, let's get into ranking some of my March palettes. Okay, so I'm gonna be ranking eight palettes in this video and I can't find number eight, so I do apologize in advance, but I tried to look for it really quick before filming this video and I can't find it. So I'm gonna throw up a picture for you guys in case you have no idea what I'm talking about. But in number eight place is the Earth and Ocean palette by e.l.f. Cosmetics. So I've really been diving into different drugstore brands and I bought some of the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes. I'm sure you guys saw some of my videos in the month of April where I showed you guys some of the little bite size palettes compared to other well-known brands and I'm really enjoying those palettes. So it motivated me to grab the Earth and Ocean palette because I also saw Kelly Gooch use that palette and I was like, oh, now I'm kind of intrigued. So I picked it up, I really enjoyed it. It's not a bad palette at all. The reason I'm ranking it as number eight is just because I like all the other palettes I tried out in March more than that one, but I honestly don't feel like I had a bad palette in March. So these are basically like my favorites in order, but it's such a beautiful palette. I love the greens. So much fun color to play with in that palette, but it's also sort of muted in a sense that I think you can make it an everyday palette. So I really love the variety of looks I could do with it, and I definitely plan on playing with it some more as soon as I can find it. I really don't know where it is. Like, I have no idea. Anyway, the next set of palettes I want to rank, these are palettes, but I'm just going to consider them like one set, are the Bite Size palettes. I really like these. I think I've sung their praises quite a few times on my channel. I just love the size. I like the quality. I like the price point. I think these are such a great palette for everyday use, girls on the go people that want budget-friendly makeup. So I'm just so happy that I got to try these out. And you guys know I like to play a lot with high-end makeup, but it's so nice for me to be able to try something out that I can also recommend to my subscribers that are maybe on a budget or you're maybe not spending a lot of money on makeup right now. I think that if you wanna treat yourself to some affordable makeup, these are so, so fun. If I had to rank these, I would say the green one is my absolute favorite. And then I really like the neutral ones. I think these are really fun neutrals. And I would say the blue one is kind of on the bottom for me just because it's not really the most flattering shades on my tan skin. But otherwise, I think they're all really, really fun. As you can see, I have like the most amazing neutral eye look on. This video should be up already. I'll try and remember to link it for you guys. But you have to go see the palette I used to create this eyeshadow look because... It just like shot up to like my favorite palette of 2020. So anyway, enough teasers, but yeah, Elf is number seven. Okay, so in my number six spot for March is the Smoky Glow Midas Cosmetics palette. Now, I did do a look with this palette because I actually ended up buying it and I was also sent it in PR. I kind of talked about this a while ago where I kind of got added to the Midas affiliate program as this was coming out and then the whole virus thing happened and I wasn't really sure what was going on. So I also purchased a palette myself and I was able to play with it. I do want to do another video with this palette and the highlighter as well as the lip gloss. So let me know if you guys are still interested in seeing that in my description box because Midas Cosmetics was kind enough to send me the whole collection and it was really, really fun to receive that. So big shout out to Midas as well as Smoky Glow Hannah for this palette. So the reason I'm ranking this at number six is because I really love the shimmers. There's some really unique shimmer shades in here, but I do feel like the mattes are a little thin for my taste. 
So the eyeshadows in here are definitely a little bit more like a pigment. So I actually like to press them instead of like blending them too much. So you do have to be careful with that if you're not familiar with working with a more pigment type formula. Now I don't actually know if it's a pigment versus an eyeshadow. It does say it's an eyeshadow palette. So maybe it's just my preference. I just like a really creamy eyeshadow formula and this one's definitely more of a dry formula. So if that's making sense to you, hopefully you know what I'm talking about. But I love the shimmers. I just don't love the mattes as much. So, so that's why I'm ranking it at number six. I also got to participate in the Midas Don't Rush challenge video. That was so fun. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll try and remember to link it in the description box so you guys can check it out because there's a lot of fun YouTubers and Instagrammers that you might want to check out there. And I got to use the Smoky Glow palette in that too. So I did a brighter eye look with that and I felt like 100 years old because I participated in a viral video and uh, who am I? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I, I don't know. Okay, anyway, next palette. So the next palette is this guy. This is the Rust Palette by Melt Cosmetics. Can you guys believe they're coming out with another palette already in April? It's crazy. The reason I'm ranking this one a little bit lower is because I've only used it one time. I don't know about Melt's formula. Like, I swear I loved their holiday launch and then this one wasn't as bad as Millennial Pink, but it's also like, me and like I had such a more positive reaction using the palette I used to create this eye look today than I did when I used this palette for the first time. Again, this is a much drier formula, so it takes a lot of work to build up that color. Whereas a creamier matte, I don't feel like I have to do as much work, which I love, but I know some people love drier eyeshadow formulas as well. So I don't know, this one I'm kind of on the fence about. I don't know, like I love it. I love the color story, like look at all these tones, right? Like all the earth tones. But I'm also like, eh. like I could return this. Like that's, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it doesn't like force me to, pick it up and like use it. It's like, oh, I'm glad I have it, but it's not like, oh my God, I can't wait to use it. Whereas the palette I have on my eyes today, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to use it. It's so good. So if that makes any sense. Okay guys, palette number four is the Latte palette or the Latte 2 palette by Dominique Cosmetics. This was sent to me by a subscriber. Thank you so, so much to her. And I really like this. I love, I actually really just like the neutrals. I don't know why, I'm such a sucker. So like this section right here, just like beautiful. Just like everyday eye looks, creamy shimmers and I love the coffee theme. I love this packaging even more than the first one because it looks like a coffee spill. And then it's got the beautiful like gold lettering and I don't know, I just really like the vibe of this one. It's just very like, again, I don't know. I just feel like I'm the most neutral bish right now on YouTube, but I really like it, so there's that. Okay, so number three is not a new palette, but I did use this for a collab video in March, which meant I got to reach into my collection and pull this out. I'll try and remember to link the video where I did a look with this palette for you guys, because a lot of you had mentioned you'd be interested in seeking an eyeshadow look with this palette. So it is, it is on my channel already, so you guys can check it out, but this is such a fun palette. I had so much fun using this pastel blue shade with a white base and just reminded me how much I love the bigger palettes from Huda. I think her bigger palettes just have a superior formula. I don't know if that's actual fact or fiction, but in my brain, these are really, really good. So that is number three. Okay guys, so number two, I'm kind of cheating here because I did mention this in my February ranking video as well, but I also have been using this into March, so I thought it was only fair to throw this back in here. And it is the Prelude Chroma Palette from Lime Crime. Now, this baby went on sale during the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty, and I made a video review of this to go live the day that that sale went live. And that was so much fun because I got so much positive feedback from you guys that the video was so helpful, which totally made my day because as a creator, that's all you want is to provide useful content to your subscribers. So I'm so happy you guys picked this palette up. I think 
You guys will really, really enjoy this. You should have all probably gotten it by now. I did end up ordering the other palette that came out with this palette, the neutral one. I can't remember what it's called right now off the top of my head. So I will do a video with that palette as well. And it was just so much fun to see you guys picking up the different Lime Crime palettes. I hadn't bought a Lime Crime palette in a long, long time. And I was honestly very pleasantly surprised with that particular purchase. I really like the color story and it works really well with my tan skin. So my number one palette for March is kind of a funny one. This is not a new palette to my collection by any means and you probably haven't seen the video with this palette. I did create a look with this because I did see that Colored Rain is bringing this one back. Now I had heard this before again the virus stuff happened so I don't know if it will come back anytime soon but there is a sign up on the Colored Rain website where you can put in an email and they will send you an email when this restocks. So I would totally recommend you guys signing up for that because I hadn't used this palette in a while and then I went back to it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is freaking delicious. Like, I'm so, so happy I have this and honestly, it's one of those palettes where I think it is like a unicorn palette. It went away and the people that have it love it, but if you don't have it, I would say jump on it if you like neutrals and those like olive green grungy tones. So that's why I am ranking it as my number one palette of March. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it is so late. I'll try and do better for my April ranking video. I want to get that up a little bit sooner in the month so you guys can enjoy that. But uh, April's been so fun so far. I've tried some amazing stuff so I can't wait for you guys to see that video and I hope you guys are staying safe thank you so much for watching Ooh, by the way guys I'm so close to 5k it would mean the world to me if you guys could go ahead and subscribe to my channel I'll see you in the next one bye